everyone welcome back to pep coding the question which we will solve today is called bus routes we will first understand the question and then we will move on to the solution so what we have been told to do in this case is that we have a, an array called routes in this array i'm saying that i have indexes representing bus numbers to distinguish we have bus number and bus stop number okay so bus number is the index of the array and bus stop numbers are the elements which are present on the index of the array so roots of 0 has 1 2 and 3 so 1 2 and 3 are my stop numbers and 0 is my bus number okay what we need to do is that using this array i need to find out the minimum number of buses which i will use to go from my source to a target or a destination which has been given to me okay so let's suppose my source is 0 or my source is 1 and my target is 7 so when i move over here bus num this is bus 1 and bus 2 like numbers so I'll take two buses from here. From here also I'll use two buses. So the minimum number of buses which I require to be able to go from my target, from my source to my target will be two. Okay. So this is what we need to work with. Now what is happening is that obviously for doing this to be able to find out how many buses we will use, we need BFs. But in this case, we will use modified BFs. Let's see why and how. If we had to figure out the number of edges or the number of bus stops I have before reaching from source to destination, I would use normal BFS. This is one distance away, two distance away, three distance away and four distance away. So in this case, from source to destination, I would have been four distance away. But now in this case, we are asking for the minimum number of buses which we require. Okay, so what we have been told is, in using bus number 0 to go from 1 to 2 also my cost is 1 to go from 1 to 3 also my cost is 1 so in this case my bfs will be a little modified or a little bit different okay so now how we will work with this let's figure out i am saying that i will take a hash mark. okay so i'm working with a hash map and in this hash map, I am taking an integer value. This integer value will signify my bus stops. And I have an array list which will signify my bus number. Okay. So going from bus number, bus stop number 1, I use bus number 0. For bus stop number 2 also I use bus number 0. For bus stop number 3 also I use bus number 0. Then over here, bus stop number 1 also uses bus number 1. Then bus stop number 4 uses bus number 1. Bus stop 5, bus number 1. Bus stop 5, bus number 2. Bus stop 8, bus number 2. Bus stop 7, bus number 2. Bus stop 3, bus number 3. Bus stop 6. Bus number 3 and bus stop 7, bus number 3. Okay, so here I, we have already created my hash map. Now, how will we perform BFS? Okay, so obviously, since we are performing BFS, we would need a queue. So, we will create a queue over here. We have a queue. Okay, and we need to maintain two visited arrays. One will be for my bus number, and one will be for my bus stop number. Okay, so when I work with my bus number, and when I work with my bus stop number, see the Visited array for bus stop number is very necessary since we need to know which bus stops I have already visited so that I don't go back to them. 
but in case of bus numbers we are not required or it is not necessary for us to use the visited RA but we are using it because we need to save time or so that we can just improve our time complexity a bit. How will my time complexity be improved? See, when I will visit all the bus stops for bus number 0, 1, 2 and 3, they will be marked in the visited RA. So if I come back to bus number 0, I will know. When I come to bus, num bus stop number 1, 2 and 3, I will know that they have been visited. So, I will not work for them. But just to save a little bit of time, I am using uh, a visited array for bus numbers also. Okay. So, I hope that is clear. Now, see. The first thing I will do is let's say my source is 1 and my destination is 7. Okay. So, if I want to go from... 1 to 7, I will work in levels. First, I will have level number 0. Okay. So, for level number 0, I am checking the source first. So, I will put my bus stop number 1 in my queue and my bus stop number visited I. So, when I will remove 1, I will check that the array list which is corresponding to bus stop number 1 is 0 and 1. So, for 0, my array contains 2 and 3. Okay. And for bus number 1, my array contains 4 and 5. Okay. So, I have checked for bus number 0 also. And I have checked for bus number 1 also. So, they will be put in the bus number visited array. Now, we will be done with level number 0. So, we need to update the level to level number one. Okay, so when I am working with level number 1, I will remove bus number 2. When I remove bus number 2, I will find out that the corresponding array list will be 0 only. But 0 has already been visited. So, we will remove this. Not, we will not work with it. Then I will remove 3. I will have the corresponding array list as 0 and 3. So, 0 has already been visited, but 3 hasn't. So, in bus number 3, I have 3, 6 and 7. Okay. So, 3 was already here. Now, the next ones I have to put are 6 and 7. Okay. Then, I will put bus number 3 over here. And I have visited bus stop number 2 and 3 also. So, I will put them in the visited area. Then, I will go to bus number, bus stop number 4. I will remove 4 from here. For 4, I have the array list with 1. Okay. 1 has already been visited. So, we will not do anything. Then I will remove bus stop number 5. For 5, I have 1 and 2. So, for 2, I have 5 which has already been visited, 8 and 7. So, 8 I will put here, 7 is already present. Okay. And 4 and 5 have been visited. So, we will put them over here. Now, we are done with level number 1. Okay. So, 1 distance away have been covered. Now, I will move on to level number 2. Okay. So, when I will work with level number 2, First thing which I will see is which bus is, okay, over here I have already also worked for bus number 2. So, that is also done. Now, see, I will work with 6. Okay, so for 6, we have 3. 3 is also already visited, right? Then we will come to 7. I will remove 7 from here. 7 is now my destination. So, when I reach my destination, I will print out my level number and that is how many minimum number of buses which I will require to go from my source to my destination. Okay. So, this is how I will work with my code over here also. Okay. So, we will keep on checking what we are doing and then we will also do a dry run. I hope you understood this part. If not, you can please rewind and look to it again and then head over to the coding part and please try doing the coding on your own first. And then refer the video.
Okay, so now we'll try to code this. So here yeah, the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to find out the length of the root sign. From here I am going to get roots dot okay and the second thing which i'm going to find out is roots of zero dot size okay then i need to create a hash map i'm going to create an unordered map of the type integer and vector of int okay so this will be known as let's say map only okay then what I am going to do is that I want to travel in the array, the roots array and from that I want to get the values of the bus stops as well as the bus number so that I can use that and put that into my hash map that is the unordered map. So for int i equals 0, i is less than n, i plus plus. Then for int j equals 0, j less than m, j plus plus this what we are going to do is we are going to find bus stop so how do we find out the bus stop we are going to find out the i comma j position from the roots array okay so from the roots vector i'll find out roots i comma j okay then i need to find out the bus number also and we decided that the bus number is going to be a vector or an array list so what we are going to do is we will create a vector of integer type which will be known as bus number and in this I'll find out whether it is already present in my map or not. So in the map I am going to check for bus stop whether the bus stop uh, key is present or not and if it is present then it will give me return to me the vector as it is if not it will create a new vector okay. Then what we are going to do is in this vector bus number we are going to push back i why do we push back i i hope you remember we discussed that i that is the index is going to be our bus number that is why we are going to push i in it okay and then map of bus stop will become equal to bus number so this is how we've already uh, created the hash map for all of the bus stops and bus numbers. Then we'll move ahead. So now the next thing which we need to do is we need to create a queue and two hash sets for visited of bus stop as well as bus number. So first thing which we are going to do is we are going to create a queue of integer type. Then we'll create a set of integer type which will be known as visited bus stop. And we will also create a set of integer type which will be known as visited bus number. Okay. And to the queue as well as the hand set of bus stop, we were going to push or insert our source. Right. So, queue.push source. And visited of bus stop dot insert source and we need a level so we are going to take a level which will start from here now we need to work within the queue so we will check that if q dot size is not equal to 0 i am going to find out the size of the queue only int size is equal to q dot size okay and while size is greater than 0 or it does not become 0 what am I going to do now I need to find out the value or take out a value from the queue in rem is equal to queue dot front and I'll also remove it from the queue so help for the value okay I'll check that if this value which I just took out from the queue is equal to my target then I will return this level only. Okay. As we discussed in the previous dry run while we were discussing the solution for the question. Okay. After if this doesn't happen, we are going to move forward. We are going to check whether a bus number is present, is already visited or not. 
and if the bus number is not visited we'll check whether it's specific bus stop is visited or not so what you are going to do is we are going to get a vector of int of buses how will we get that so buses we will get see our buses we have to get from the roots area only right and the buses for specific bus stops are present in our hash map so from the hash map from the hash map we will get the values which are present for this specific bus stop which we are working with that is area okay now when we get this we are going to move go for a for each loop that int bus in buses we will check whether this is already present or not so if visited bus number dot find bus is not equal to visited bus number dot end then we will okay i think this is to be brackets now we will so we we'll, what will we do we will continue if not if the bus number is already not visited we will take out an array okay for the bus stops and what will it be equal to roots of bus so bus number is the index so from the index whatever array is present on that index will be the bus stops so roots of bus okay now we will move in this array so for int top in array if if visited bus stop dot find stop so that means if it is already visited is not equal to visited bus stop dot end what will we do in that case in that case we will continue if it is not visited then we will push it to the queue and we will also push it to the visited hash set to visited bus stop insert stop okay after we are done with all the stops for a specific bus number we are going to map that bus number also as visited so visited bus number insert okay after we are done with that as soon as size over here it will be size minus minus or you can also do one thing you after completing all of this you can decrement size after that but i'm going to do this here also it's your choice what you want to do with it okay so over here now after i'm done with this i am going to increase the level right after i'll be done with one distance away i want to increase the level so i'll increase the level and also if at all there is a situation where i keep on going breadth for search in the entire graph and i am not even able to find out the target then it is given in the question that we need to return minus so we will return minus now we are going to try to run this okay so we have uh, an error let's try to figure out what it is okay so here we the issue was that i did not create vector we have a vector of int now let's try to run this okay so it is telling me where is it okay Okay, now we'll try to submit this.
and it is correct. So now we are going to do a dry run of this. Okay. So for that, see this part, the part over here is for creating the hash map. Uh, so you must know what we are doing in this. We will just head over to this part where we are doing the main work of the brand. Okay. So here I have this. I don't need that. I'm going to work with this part. Okay. Now see, the thing is that we had an array which was 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 5, 5, 8, 7, and 3, 6, and 7. So, working with this, we had a graph also. 4, 5, 8, 7, and 6. So, when we are working with this, the first thing it is asking me to do is we had created a queue. Okay. We have a queue. And also we have two visited arrays. So this will be my queue. This will be visited for bus number and this will be visited for bus stop number. First I put source in bus in queue and bus stop number. Okay, level is 0. I check for the size of the queue. Okay, and I removed 1. Okay, I checked whether it is equal to the target. It wasn't. So, I found out the buses array list. Okay, so when I sort out the buses array list, I found out that it had 0 and 1. So, I will move for 0 and 1. For 0, I will find out all the stops from this array. So, I will put them into the queue that is 2 and 3 and then I will put 0 into the visited bus number hash set. Then I will go for 1. I will put 4 and 5 over here. Okay. So, these are the parts which are working for it. If my bus was already visited, 0 was not already visited. So, I have found out the array of the bus stops from here. And if the stop was already visited, so for example, 1 was already visited. So, we continue. Otherwise, for 2 and 3, we pushed into the queue and also into the visited set. Similarly, we did for 3 also and now we are working with bus number 1. So, I checked for bus stop 1. It was already visited. So, I only put 4 and 5 into the queue. And bus number 1 is now in the visited bus number set. Okay. Then size became 0. Then I increase the level and it became 1. Now size is 3. Okay. So now I am going to pop 2. For 2 my array list was 0 only. It is visited. I will do nothing. Then I will go for 3. For 3 my array list of bus numbers was for 3 it was 0 as well as 3. Okay. So, bus number 3 is not visited. So, for bus number 3, I will put 6 and 7 into the queue from this part. Okay, since bus number 0 was visited, I just continued. Bus number 3 wasn't visited. So, I pushed, since 3 is already visited, I did not push 3 into the queue, but I pushed uh, 6 and 7 into the queue. Okay, so we have already visited 2 also, 3 also, 4 also, 5 also. Okay, from bus stop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and now 6 and 7 also. Okay. After we are done with that, we will go for 4. For 4, the array list will be 1. 1 is already visited, so we don't have to do anything. For 5, the array list will be 1, comma 2. Okay, so 5 is... For 5, bus number 1 is already visited. So, we will continue. Bus number 2 is not visited. So, for bus number 2, I will put 8 and 7 over here. Since 5 will already be visited. Okay. And now, 8 is also over here. 
All right. So, then, after that, I will check for 6. Level will now increase and become 2. Okay. Since size was 3, it kept on decrementing and it became 0. So, now level will become 2. After level became 2, I popped 6. The arrow list which I got from the hash set for 6 will be 3. 3 is already visited over here. Right. So, since 3 is already visited, I will continue and go for 7. 7 is my target. So, I will return the level which was 2. So, I got my answer. Okay. So, this is how we are working with bus routes. So, we discussed the question bus routes. Alright. I hope you understood the question. Also, the solution. Thank you for watching the video. We will see each other the next time. Till then, like, share and subscribe to the channel.